family's cleanup plan? Brian, you're sacking a bit, kiddo. Get stuff in. You could fill 15 flaming boxes. Don't bet the farm on it. This is junk. What is this? We don't need to collect bags. We're not bank collectors. The Morgan McKenzie's big issue is that they have too much stuff coming in and nothing ever goes out. Uh, the last time I got rid of something... Shoot. Kim and Mike want to give this family a lesson in letting go. We are giving you exactly one minute to bring all that junk right back here. Ready, set, and go! Go! You have one minute, guys. You have one minute. Let's go. Collect that junk. There's so much stuff. Come on. We don't got long. Take the whole bag. This is this is all. This is junk. Brian, you're sucking a bit, kiddo. Get stuff in. You could fill 15 flaming boxes. Ten seconds. Oh, I know. Eight. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Come on. You threw it like a tart. Yeah. I hate you. You've not been asked. This is the laurel. Two boxes. One minute. One minute. Doesn't take long. Doesn't take weeks and months. The switch has proved to the Morgan McKenzie's that clearing this house won't take forever. But Brian still needs a lesson in letting go, even of junk that's already broken. Does it have any sentimental value to you at all? Not really. None at all, right? This is what we do with things. For all of us, it's a little bit of an issue letting go of items, although I think we're seeing it in a different light now. It taught me that I shouldn't keep as much things give yourself 60 seconds don't give yourself longer if you hesitate you won't throw it out you all know if you want it right away get it out and how's that a deal the switch was interesting to see how much was left after we took a box out you can't tell it was missing so there's a lot more to do yes there's a lot to get out but first kim and mike have to stop more stuff from coming in my mom definitely brings the most into the house you know online shopping and God knows what else. And then I buy things that I don't even like, like a pair of boots I will never wear that still sit in the box. Dollar store stuff? Oh, just two years old. More dollar store stuff? Yeah. The Morgan McKenzie's don't even realize what they already have. I want to prove a little something right now. Mike wants to show them by pulling it all together. I need to show you guys the amount of stuff that comes in this house in a short period of time. And this is only three months worth of purchases. In a year, they'll have four times as much. At this rate, soon the house will burst. And you wonder why your house is so full. Family, I can't even see you. Come here. Look at this. In order for this to stop, we need to put into place the in and out policy. If something this size comes in the house, I want something this size to go out of the house. Brian, if you go to the dollar store and you buy all these little things, it adds up. Okay? This has to either be put somewhere properly or it has to go out. Got it? Mom, all this impulse buying has to stop. You're going to give everything a thought for 24 hours before you purchase them. 24 hours. Let's put this stuff away. Come on. I'm quite certain we will be more conscientious when in making purchasing decisions and also in hoarding. Um, it'll be easier to let things go to know that that's the only way we can bring something new in. With the shopping madness halted, Kelly needs to take care of her suitcase science experiment gone wrong. Kim is bracing herself for the biohazard that is about to be unleashed. I'm sorry to anything to jump at me. Open the case, let's go see what we've got here. Oh, uh, that's a heap. You do know that you're going to have to wash everything, so let's throw them in. Okay. It's musty. It's very musty. You're a very good packer, dear, aren't you? I must say. Oh, it's God. Let us take our masks off. Oh, these are awful things to wear. Now, I just got warm water and I put a wee bit of washing up liquid. I don't want it soapy. Okay. Tea tree oil is a natural bacteria that comes from Australia. I will shake in about ten drops. I'm going to put this clean white cloth in and all I'm going to do is, my love, I'm literally skimming over the nylon. You might see a few sort of dampy spots appear, but leave it open half an hour and it's, it's dry. If you have any dirty washing, you put them in a plastic bag. Then when you get home, take it out right away. It hasn't changed any of the other clothes. So if they're clean, you've got to tackle this one now. Okay. You've got to tackle that one. Okay. And I've had enough. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Kelly may be on the road to clutter recovery, but the rest of the family still have a very long way to go.
Well, I want you to put that stuff down. Oh, no, where? Well, I don't exactly where. You gotta figure know. it out. You're going to university and you can't figure out where things are gonna go. The Morgan McKenzie family brings too much stuff into the house and nobody ever throws anything out. A binder full of paper, that's useful. Why, why throw that out? Kim and Mike need to teach this family how to let go. I hate my life. The Morgan McKenzies want to downsize as two of the grown-up kids move on in life. Mike needs to help Kendra organize her things before she goes to university so her mom isn't left in the lurch. Garbage is going to go in the garbage. Things that don't belong in your room are going to go in this box here. The stuff that you're going to keep, we're going to divide it up into three boxes. Things that you never use, things that you use occasionally, and things that you use every day. We're going to do the entire bedroom. What's this? Every day? Yeah. Every day use. Occasional, never use. No. Yes, let it go. Good girl. Wait, whoa, there's still more garbage in here. But, but like, eh, I, I can't even, I don't even want to touch this stuff, so you got to get in here with me. Motivation, motivation. But it's going to take all of Mike's power of positive thought to get this girl motivated. Here. Here. Do you want to help me out? <laughs> well, I want you to put that stuff down. Oh, where? Well, I don't, exactly, where? You got to figure know. it out. You're going to university and you can't figure out where things are going to go. It takes some tough love from Mike for Kendra to finally face reality. I'm leaving you with this. Here's your garbage bag. When I come back, I want this room to be spotless. Okay. And organized. Okay? Yeah. All right. I'm getting started with my help. It's a work in progress, so I can keep working on it. It's just been started, so that's the hardest part, I guess. While Kendra gets busy, it's time for Doug and Brian to become Kim's little helpers and finally pack Christmas away. Now, I'll tell you what job I'm going to give you to do. Right. We've got the box here, and we've got lots of these. So I want you to take all these lovely balls and things, they're beautiful, and sit one in each. When you fill the layer, you put this on top, my love, and we've got another one of these, darling. And then, you see, you start another layer. It's very neat. And you, young man, I've started doing that one. Kim is going to show these boys how easy a job can be if you have the right tools. This is actually pretty fun. Look at that little face. Not a bad-looking child, are you? <laughs> but what happened to you? No, no. <laughs> we'll put this in here now. Go on. Thanks.